Ever heard of the phrase, breed like rabbits? Well, there's some truth to it, although not as much as you might think. The processes of ovulation and copulation are coupled in female rabbits, such that each time they have sex, baby buns pop into their ovens. The gestational period in rabbits is a mere month, and since litter size is usually three to six kits, you can see why these cute, fluffy mammals have garnered such a sordid reputation. With all these baby buns, surely mom has no time to herself. But actually, she does, because rabbits provide very little time in the way of direct care to their kits. Each time she's near birth, Mama Rabbit will assemble a comfortable nest in a hidden burrow using vegetation, her own loose fur, and some fecal pellets. The babies are then born in the burrow, each about one minute after the next. One minute of labor? Sign me up, please. Once the babies are clean and safe, Mom leaves them in the burrow and seals up the entrance with loose vegetation. For the next two weeks, she will only return once a day for just a few minutes to nurse her babies. Rabbit milk is extremely rich. It contains nearly four times the amount of fat and protein as cow's milk, and almost three times the energy content. And this rich milk is incredibly important since rabbit nursing is far less frequent than many other mammals. So how come mom doesn't stick around to spend more quality time with her newborns? It turns out that staying away is actually a strategy to keep the babies safe. Rabbits are an easy target for a wide range of predatory birds and mammals, so frequent trips to the burrow could showcase the location of her offspring. Since mom isn't around for much of their initial existence, newborn rabbit siblings quickly form close social bonds by snuggling up together for warmth and keeping each other clean. The kids will stay in their burrow for about three weeks, but before they leave, they begin the transition to solid food. The bunnies start this process by consuming the vegetation of their nest. And remember those fecal pellets that mom provided? They'll eat those too. The pellets contain important bacteria that help to establish a healthy microbiome in their little bellies, essential for digestion in the outside world. By the time the kits emerge, mom's job is done, at least for now. And that's because it's more than likely that she is already pregnant again with a new litter and hard at work constructing another nest somewhere else. And soon enough, her female babies will enter the endless rabbit hole of copulation, ovulation, and procreation. You go, girls. Make sure to share this video with all the moms in your life. And be sure to follow Wild Moms to learn what it means to be a baby mama in the animal kingdom. In this episode, you'll learn why golden-headed lion tamarins do something completely different to most other primates. I'll give you a hint. It has everything to do with dad. If you want more stories right now, make sure to check out the book, Wild Moms, written by me, Dr. Karen Bondar. Thanks for watching.